champ Harrison Bucker delivered the commencement speech at Benedictine College. Benedictine College is a traditional Catholic college in Kansas. Bucker is a devout Catholic, not a Biden Pelosi Catholic, but an actual devout Catholic. Here's part of Bucker's speech. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. The Archbishop of San Francisco, Salvador Cordillon, joins me for a reaction. Your Excellency, Butker is taking a lot of heat for this speech in which he embraces the Latin Mass. He told graduates to ensure that fathers are present and women to prioritize having and leading their families. He also went after Joe Biden for his support of abortion and also the so-called Pride Month. So much heat, 188,000 people to basically have, have now signed a petition to get him kicked off of the Kansas City Chiefs. Is this another example of anti-Catholic or anti-Christian assault that we see from the secular left? It's even beyond that. It's anti-basic human goods. He's not speaking about things that are doctrinally specifically Catholic. He's speaking about basic human goods, the good of a father in the family, of a, a mother caring for the for the family. These are basic human goods, and uh, there's it shows this criticism shows how depraved and and narcissistic our culture has become. These people want him kicked off the uh, kicked out of the NFL. They they won't listen. And you know, people who are not afraid of the truth are not afraid to try to understand how other people think. They're open to learning something new. But people who are close to that, they're the ones afraid of the truth. So this tells me that they know they don't have a convincing argument for what they want to believe is right. So they descend into these cancel out tactics, yeah. uh, which just drives everyone down. Your, Your Excellency, the NFL is now distancing itself from Butker on Wednesday. Senior Vice President Jonathan Bean issued a statement that reads in part, quote, Harrison Butker gave a speech in his personal capacity. His views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. So this, this, this poor young guy, he's been called a misogynist, a cult member, a bigot, and a racist. And the NFL just keeps up with this DEI message here. How could anyone who looks at the state of our families and our priorities argue with what Harrison Bucker said? He said something that desperately needs to be said. I was so very pleased. He spoke about vocation, vocation of a man to be the father of a family, of a woman to be the mother of a family. He, was, he wasn't saying they shouldn't have a career. That's he was right. saying their vocation as father and mother should come first, and you fit the career around that. That's how our society always worked until recently. And now, however, it seems the attitude is that the career comes first and fit the family into that. But the vocation, the vocation is to be the father and a mother, and everything else is organized around that. I'm so grateful to him for having made that point. Uh, well, thank you very much for offering your perspective. And, uh, and your support of what's a, a lot of common sense and certainly a very Christ-centered message. Archbishop Salvador Cordillo, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Coming up.